Hi, in this talk, in this clip, we'll we give review a review on Bowles and Wins experiment and use it to analyze some other experiment that we has been discussed in class. So we we'll look at the generalized version. Okay, so we have n bins. There are n bins, and then we throw. M balls, okay, and then each ball fall to a random bit, okay. So uh, as a recap, so that there are M balls, and for each ball there are N choices, so there will be N to the M possible. Outcome. Out. Sorry. Outcome. Okay. All right. And with f from this experiment, what can we uh, analyze? First of all, we can analyze the number of empty bins. Empty bins all right so we want to analyze the expected expected number of empty bins so we use uh, indicator random variables and and, and and random variables in, in in general so let so we let X let random variable X equals the number of empty bins right and um, and we, we're gonna use uh, random uh, indicator random variables so for each for each bin I we let random variable X I be 1 if bin I is empty and zero otherwise right and from here we we know that what 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 do we know we know that x equals the sum of i from 1 to n of xi right and and from this since these two are equal then if we this implies expected value of x expect value of the number of empty bins equals expectation of the sum i equals 1 to n from xi right and because of uh, linearity of expectation we know that this equals the sum of expected the expectation of sum equals the sum of the expectation right so now what is left is to analyze this term Alright, so let's try to analyze uh, the terms xi. So xi, so we have that the expectation of xi, since it is uh, an indicator random variable, so we can try to follow the definition. So it's 0 plus either 0 or 1. xi, oops, sorry, equals 0 x i is equal 1 and this go to 0 and this is just 1 so we want to analyze this so this is the probability that bin i is empty right if you look at the definition so we have a bunch of bins and this is bin i and we throw m balls and, and bin i is empty so what is the probability for that so for each ball, there are um, n choices, and you have to pick. Uh, there are n minus one choices that you have to pick. So for the first ball, 
probability that it doesn't fall into bin i is this and since we throw each ball independently this has to hold for every ball so it's you you multiply all this and you get this so the probability that xi is equal 1 equal the equals uh, this which we can be re written as this all right so after this uh, we can plug it into our um, our expression before as uh, previously so so we have that so we plug it in in, in our previous uh, expression so we know that expected value of x equals sum of expectation of xi i equals 1 to n and this is since uh, expected this 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 expression expression does not depend on i at all so they are all equal so this is like uh, you have n terms of this each of value this so this is n times n minus n 1 over n to the m right so that's the expected value right so what can this tell us okay what can this expression tells us so um, what do we know um, about this so we know that from this what do we know we know that if n equals m so if we throw n n balls into n bins what we get we'll get about expected value of, of x is equal n times 1 or 1 minus 1 over n to the n and this term this term is about 1 over e so this is about n n over e right now so, uh, so let's look at this a little bit more suppose I want I want I want I want to throw a lot of balls so that there is no empty bins okay so if we want no empty bins so can we do that for sure we cannot currently cu currently that there will be no empty bins right that there will be some bad cases anyway however what we want so if we want no no empty bins so we want expected value of x to getting close to to go to zero right goes to zero okay close to zero so um so if you come back and, and look at this term okay this term okay you can see that uh, if we increase m this thing goes down right and then if m m is large enough this can be really small so let's think about the case when this is just one empty bins there's one empty bin left okay so let's plug it in so I want instead of going to zero I just want one empty empty bins so if I want only one expected in this expectation only one empty bins left so we plug it in to M equals one right what do we know next hmm? so you plug this in you can you can do some calculation and you you get that um, uh, so I move into that so you want M so from this uh, let, let me erase some something first okay so you want n 1 minus 1 over n to the m to be equal to 1 for example right so how, how can we solve this okay one thing to note is that so uh, we, we're not gonna solve it exactly but we you try to a approximate so we know that uh, 1 over 1 over n to the n when n is large so this is about 1 over e right so what we can do here is is, is, is to change this a little bit so so we put this in here so we get one so we will we, we'll rewrite the form so it's to the end 
and then this go to the m over n right so this is about roughly n and this is 1 over e right 1 over e times m n right and if we want this to to be 1 what does it mean so it means that uh, 1 over e has to go to uh, 1 over n right so this is uh, so so this to be equal to 1 um, this term okay this term has to be large enough but not too large okay so we know what what we know is that if we have 1 over e we raise it to the power of log n then it's 1 over n right so we know this 1 over e to the ln n so this is n oh 1 over n right so so the term this this term m over n is should be roughly that right so we know that if we want this to go to 1 so we we need uh, m to the n to be equals to log n and this imply m to be and log n right right so this says that if we have if we throw about this 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 many balls right then we would expect just one uh, empty bin so if we do something like this a little bit more we can increase the probability that there's no empty bins right and this if you recall okay recall this is roughly the same the same bound that we talk about when we talk about the uh, coupon collector okay so when we talk about coupon collectors um, we get the same bound like like this okay so so a simple balls and bin experiment can can you know sort of like give us some some rough uh, approximation on on various thing okay so b before we, we we continue let's think about the case when we talk about uh, the um, birthday paradox so for birthday paradox we have we have n people and we have n have n people right in a room and 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 say sorry m people in the room and there are impossible birthday okay if you think about this in terms of balls and bins the days are bins and then you throw m people into the bins right and you have the same birthday if two two balls fall into the same bin right if we're gonna anal analyze this uh, experiment using the same technique as balls and bins uh, we wanna instead of counting the number of uh, empty bins we're gonna count so I let random variable y equals number of pairs of ball falling into the same bin okay and we can use the same uh, technique for analyzing this okay so we let random variable r i j y i j equals one if ball I and J fall into the same bin and zero otherwise and we know that Y equals summation of I from I1 to N so we have J not equal to I of Y I J right and from this we know that the expected value of y equals expected value of the sum right and 
from the linear table of expectation this equals to that okay and if we we can analyze this we can uh, sort of like try to figure out the number of people or the number of balls to throw in this into this bins so that we get this expectation to be say roughly larger than one okay so let's do that so let's look at ball I and ball J different ball okay so they are in bins so what is the probability that ball I and ball J falls into the same bin okay so probability that y i j equals one equals so the first ball can land anywhere right so it doesn't really matter so if it lands in into this bin then the next ball has no other choice right out of n choices it has to pick this bin okay so the probability is one over n okay from this uh, we know that the expected value of y i j equals it equals this right so it's equal 1 over n as well so the expected value of y equals I'm summing over all possible pairs right I not equal j not equal to i of expected value of y i j and each term equals 1 over n so there are how many uh, pairs so there are m balls so there are m choose two pairs and each of this uh, the value of this one over n and this goes this equals uh, n times m plus one over two right times one over n now if we just want one pair so we want uh, in expectation we just want one pair so we want this to be equals to 1 right so m times m plus 1 over 2 n right. so this from this we can estimate roughly what the value of m we want so m should be right something li right like uh, square root roughly about n Right to get the uh, the expected number of uh, collisions pair. So so, and again, if you recall, this uh, this is what we we did uh, in uh, birthday paradox. Okay, so the balls and bins uh, sort of like give you the rough idea on on how to 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 analyze various kind of. Uh, random randomized algorithms and and this can be so this this is related to hashing and we we'll talk about that later on okay so that's it uh, thank you